North Korea fired multiple projectiles this morning, but unlike recent launches, they are reportedly cruise missiles which do not violate the UN resolutions. Kim Ji-un dissects the provocative act which comes on the eve of one of the regime's most revered public holidays, the birth anniversary of its founder, Kim Il-sung. North Korea has fired a series of short-range projectiles presumed to be cruise missiles towards the East Sea. They were launched at around 7 a.m. Tuesday from sites near the eastern coastal town of Muncheon. Officials from the South Korean military said the launches lasted more than 40 minutes. The missiles flew more than 150 kilometers and are presumed to be similar to the cruise missiles North Korea launched three years ago. Also, several North Korean aircraft, including its Russian MiG and Soy fighter jets, flew near the eastern city of Wonsan and fired air-to-surface rockets. Unlike ballistic missiles, the firing of cruise missiles is not a violation of the UN resolutions placed on the regime. A cruise missile is a guided missile that remains in the atmosphere and travels the majority of its flight path at a relatively constant speed. The timing of the launch comes a day ahead of South Korea's general election as well as a North Korean public holiday, the Day of the Sun, when the North celebrates the birthday of its late founder, Kim Il-sung. North Korea has normally carried out military drills and parades at this time of year to show off its latest weaponry. However, South Korean unification officials said that's unlikely this year, citing the coronavirus epidemic. South Korean military officials say North Korea is expected to continue with short-range weapons tests this year as part of maintaining its military readiness. They also say North Korea will restart the development of weapons for operational deployment, which it had paused in 2018 to support efforts for denuclearization talks with Washington. Kim Jian, Arirang News.